Hello and welcome to how to get many YouTube views. Step one, make sure you have clickable thumbnails. You're going to make it really clickable, like so clickable it has to be practically half naked girls on there. That's step one, probably in bikinis because that gets all the boys clicking. It's very good. Hmm. Step two, make sure you make a video on what the title actually says. For example, if you're doing a gameplay on some game, you want to make sure that you do an actual gameplay on that game. So, let me say an example of a game for you. So, if you're playing, let's say, GTA, and you are doing the first video on it, like a walkthrough, you should put... GTA 5 or 4, whatever you're playing, um, part 1, walkthrough, or part 1 or walkthrough 1, anything like that, playthrough, you can put all that in. Um, make sure you also add a good description to your videos as well, otherwise it's not going to engage a lot of people. You have to make sure your title is very, very good, and that's going to attack attach people's eyes and get them to click and also make sure that you're actually doing proper stuff on that game previously to what you're saying on your title I mean you don't want to say I'm playing Fallout 4 and you end up going to some GTA 5 video it's not really gonna help out trust me you'll get a lot you might get views a lot of views but I guarantee that all instantly gonna click out like nearly every time Pretty much every time, actually, because nobody's going to want to go there to watch Fallout 4 unless um, people who actually watch your videos are actually know what type of YouTuber you are. Unless you're a troll, but other than that, it's all fine, because trolls are trolls, I guess. Step three, make sure you have good video content. You don't want to be uploading videos with really, really bad content. Okay, maybe the first few of your videos, if you're a new YouTuber coming out, um, that is okay and acceptable because everyone, every, pretty much everyone has been there who has done videos like that, unless you've like researched beforehand and you know what to do. But m a majority of people have uploaded bad content in the past and everyone improves everybody improves and that's a good thing you must improve if you don't improve people will eventually leave and that's what happens so yeah that's how the cookie rolls I guess so yeah make sure you upload good content for example you don't want to be uploading a video that is laggy choppy and nobody can understand what you're saying because the audio is really bad and also if you're doing a vlog um so people can see your face like you're doing now and i can see myself waving pretty good and pretty hardcore you don't want to be going really laggy for example i have got a light on now which actually focuses the camera on me if i was to turn this camera off now i would end up with a really bad choppiness okay I'll, i'm just going to turn it off now to show you for an example this is a example this is actually quite a good example my camera is still kind of okay um but my mouth as you can see is absolutely all over the place and if i wave my arm it's all over the place and now you can't even tell what i'm talking about because i'm going back and forth and i just look like someone who's a uh, slender man you know it's just just not good so let's put my light back on and it's still actually not focused so yeah this is a great example of bad camera work oh it's focused now see it's working step four make sure you have a social media account for example on twitter facebook instagram myspace google plus and many more just so you can actually get people from your social media onto your YouTube channel or the other way around from people from your YouTube video to your social media so you can get an active fan base. Or if you're just really rich, you could just buy out advertisements and just like get people to come to you for like paying them. I mean, that's how a lot of people get famous, isn't it? I think.
I don't know, let's give it a shot, see how many views I get. And also, make sure you get an intro and an outro, or at least one of them too. Preferably an outro if you can't get an intro. Or, as I do in my intro, I at least say, Hello everybody, my name's David Pryden, and that's how I do my intros, because my name's David Pryden. I mean, that's not my real name, but that's how I actually do my intros. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and share and subscribe. Especially share and subscribe, because that's what this video is about. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And if you enjoyed my videos, please be sure to check out some of my other videos um, in the description areas or on the bars over there. Please go and check them out. They are pretty amazing. <laughs>